Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're just going to go over the process of how to edit your Google Form even though, let's say, it's already been live or, or accessed by, let's say, your other respondents already. So you've already given them the link and they've already opened the form before. Now, the great thing about Google Forms is that you actually can edit the Google Form even though you've already sent the link out. So the thing about Google Forms is that it already updates automatically. So any changes you make, even though let's say someone may have already responded to it, any changes you make will apply anytime, let's say someone accesses it, from, accesses it from this point in time. So let's say I want to add a question and I want to ask for their age. And as you can see, if you were to simply copy the link and open it in a new tab, it immediately updates. But what happens to, let's say, someone answered it before the change, how will they basically include that new information? So if we were to fill it out, let's say we were filling this out after the edit to the form, we're gonna add our age now, our name, and everything else now as you can see if we were to go back to the results section or the responses section the previous answers to all of the questions that were already existing in the form before the changes will still remain here uh, but as you can see there's now also this new section in the responses section which basically indicates where you added this new question so people who answer your form after the change or edit has been made, their new answer will be here. But as for those who may have not answered it before the change was made, or who answered it before the change was made, their responses for the section will simply not exist. So the only way to really deal with this is to basically resend the form out so that those who, are, who may have already answered it will, will be able to answer it with the new added sections and questions and basically you'll have all the additional information that you may not have had when you sent out the first original version. And while it might seem like an inconvenience, really this is the best way that you can manage it if you want to go for simplicity and without having to clean and manage your data separately. Hopefully this helps you guys manage your Google Forms better. Be sure to check out the rest of our channel if you need any more help when it comes to managing Google Forms. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.